The 710S is Lenovo's latest thin and light laptop that's aimed squarely at the likes of the Dell XPS 13 and MacBook Air, yet it's available for just £699. But is it a case of getting what you pay for? Well, when it comes to design, the 710S largely gets things right, though it can't quite compete with the very best. You've got an aluminium and magnesium alloy top, keyboard surround and base, but the screen surround, sides and actual internal framework of this machine are silver painted plastic. That means you get 90% of the look of a premium ultrabook, but maybe only 75% of the feel, as it lacks the real heft of some other machines. The Dell XPS 13 also uses plastic on the interior, but it doesn't try to hide it, and the metal on the outside is thicker and sturdier. But make no mistake, this is still a laptop that will have most people looking on in envy. It's also impressively thin and light, at 16.8mm thick including this rubber foot, and only 13.9mm without. It's comfortably thinner than the MacBook Air and the Dell, plus its weight of 1.1 kilos beats both too. None of the above come close to the new MacBook of course, but it's a slightly different class of machine, with a smaller 12 inch screen and Intel Core M processor. Here we have a Core i processor and 13 inch screen that's packed into an impressively small footprint thanks to those slim bezels. The Dell's a touch smaller, but obviously it's thicker too. As for connectivity, you get a decent if not spectacular selection. There's a USB 3 port on each side, plus an SD card reader and micro HDMI on the right, and a headphone jack on the left. Alongside this is the power socket which links to the nicely compact power supply that unlike the Dell doesn't have an annoying power brick mid cable. Getting back to the screen, with the resolution of 1920 by 1080 you get plenty of pixels to play with. Several rivals do offer 4K but personally it's not something I'd put above overall screen quality, the potential reduction in battery life that 4K can bring, and cost. And this is a quality screen, the IPS LCD panel has the great viewing angles you'd expect, plus there's absolutely no evidence of backlight bleed, the colours really pop and the lack of a glass touchscreen means there's no annoying reflections. Its sRGB coverage of 83.7% is a touch below the best, but otherwise this is a display easily good enough for the majority of work that requires accurate colours such as image and video editing. Meanwhile, above the screen you get the obligatory webcam. It's 720p, it's fine. Below the screen is of course the keyboard and it's largely a triumph. Its layout is great with no annoyingly squashed or oddly placed keys and the key action is decent too, allowing for comfortable and speedy touch typing. There's also backlighting with two brightness levels and the option to turn it off altogether. Sadly the touchpad doesn't live up to the same standard. It's nice and large and has the same one button click anywhere surface of its rivals, but the click isn't quite as finely tuned and the metal surface of the pad isn't as smooth gliding as the etched glass of the best out there. Tracking and response is still fine though. Flipping the machine over and you can see the speaker grills. From these comes a surprisingly full and pleasant sound with more mid-range power than you might expect. Certainly they're a clear step above the weak tinny sounding speakers on some laptops. All of which brings us to the internals of this machine and it's impressively well equipped for the price. This £799 model comes with an Intel Core i7-6560U processor, 8GB of RAM, a 256GB PCIe SSD and Intel's 540 graphics processor. That adds up to a surprisingly capable machine with the CPU being more than enough for any general desktop work, light gaming or occasional video editing. The SSD is also lightning fast, at least for read speeds, with AS SSD reporting a rate of 1290MB per second. Combined they make for a really snappy feeling fast booting machine. What's more back graphics processor is surprisingly capable. With a score of 1319 in the 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark, it's got performance around half that of the Nvidia GTX 950M, which is a proper laptop gaming graphics chip. Backing all this performance up is decent battery life. It managed 8 hours and 37 minutes in my PowerBook test. Some Ultrabooks can push a bit closer to 10 hours, but still a very decent result, especially as this is the more powerful version of this laptop. When it comes to the software side of things, well last year Lenovo got quite a bit of flack for pre-installing loads of rubbish software, some of which included malware, and it was even forcing new software to be installed via the BIOS when the user had installed a clean copy of Windows. Now I haven't gone to the trouble of doing a fresh install to test this, but the company claims to have stopped both practices, and given the scrutiny it's going to be under right now, I'd be surprised if it was still doing the same trick. Nonetheless, you do still get quite a lot of rubbish, and there's a fairly insistent message that pops up every time you boot, prompting you to install more. However, it's all optional and can be uninstalled. So in the end, I'm still happy to recommend this laptop. It's not perfect thanks to that trackpad and a design that's maybe one notch below the best, but the Lenovo 710S makes for a bargain, whichever version you buy.